Hi! In this video I will explain how to set up a boost campaign alongside your labelizer strategy. The product hero labelizer strategy is an always on strategy, but there are ways to further improve your performance. One way of doing this is by creating a boost campaign. Boost, a boost campaign can be created for seasonal products, such as newly added products, holiday related products which are only temporarily in stock, or sale products. And I will explain how you can do this in the Product Hero app and in Google Ads by using an example for sale products. For the Merchant Hero shop, summer is ending and the fall collection is already added to the assortment for a while. The summer collection is on sale. Hero Shop decides to take the sale products out of the existing labelizer structure and put them in a new boost campaign. Hero Shop chose this campaign structure. Campaign 1 Heroes, Sidekicks and Zombies. The sale, so the boost products, are excluded from this campaign. Campaign 2 Villains. Also make sure that the boost products are excluded from the villains campaign so that the boost products are not included in the labelizer strategy anymore. Campaign 3 boost, so the sale products. In this example, the target ROAS for the labelizer campaigns is set to 600%. For the boost campaign, there's no target ROAS because we wanted to give Google's algorithm full space to get results without being kept by a ROAS target. The budget efficient is as follows. You want to boost your well-performing products and make sure the bad performing products don't steal your money. So we give the Heroes, Sidekicks, Zombies campaign a high budget and the Villains campaign a low budget. As we want to boost our sale products, but they are not a large part of our assortment, we give it a lower budget than the Heroes, Sidekicks, Zombies campaign, but a higher budget than the Villains campaign. Now let's see how this works for the Product Hero platform. Step 1. Adjust and include the boost products within a Product Hero platform. First, go to Advertising and click on Add Product Group. Complete the following steps to create your product group. Give your product group a name. In this situation, we're going to create a segment for all products that are not on sale, so the regular products. So we will name the product group Regular Products. The regular products are set on Custom Label 1. So, we go there and select Regular. Click Add Product Group. Set the Product Hero strategy of this product group and set the product group to Published. When a product group is published, it means a product will get the label of that segment and not the label it gets in all products. We're done in a Product Hero platform and we can go to the next step, implementing the Boost campaign in Google Ads. First, we're going to exclude the boost products from our labelizer campaigns. Go to the Heroes, Sidekicks and Zombies campaign. Go to Asset Groups. Go to Listing Group. Click on Everything else in All Products. Select Custom Label 1 and click on Sale. The sale products are now included in the Listing Group. However, we want to exclude them. So click on the green dot and click on exclude. Done! The listing group of all products except villains, in other words, hero sidekicks and zombies, and sale looks like this. Repeat the same steps for your villains campaign. After completing the steps, your listing group should look like this. The third campaign is going to be the boost campaign. Create a campaign for the sale products. The listing group of the, for this campaign will look like this. Don't forget to set the correct budgets and ROAS goals. In this example, we are going for this structure. The steps that need to be taken in order to make this campaign structure happen Step 1. Adjust and include the Boost products within the Product Hero app. Step 2. Create a Boost campaign in Google Ads. Let's begin with Step 1. The Product Hero app. First, go to the Labelizer. Go to Settings. Click on Add Segmentation. Give your segments a name. In this situation, we are going to create a segment for all products that are not on sale. 
which are the regular products. So we will name the segment regular products. The regular products are set on custom label one. So we go there and select regular. Click on apply. Click on add segmentation. Complete the steps of the wizard. Once you've created your segment, don't forget to turn the switch to published. When a segment is published, it means your product will get the label of that segment and not the label it gets in all products. We're done in the Product Hero app and can go to the next step, implementing the Boost campaign in Google Ads. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.